Folks, so I have got this shelf unit. I want to put it against the wall right here. I want to get rid of this old piece of shit. And I'm going to put this nice wooden one that I found on the side of the road. People throw shit out all the time over here. Let me show it to you. We got a little bit of better light here. It's a nice wooden one I found. Anyway, my problem is that my light switch, my light switch, yeah, my light, my light switch on the wall there is going to be hidden behind this. So my solution, so I can have a light switch for my, uh, what should we call it? My closet is this. I drilled a small hole. <laughs> I drilled a very small hole in the end of my, you see that small hole in the end of my light switch? Watch this. Oh, this nail. A finished nail goes in there. All right, check it out. Push that finished nail through there. I can't see. There we go. Now see, the head of the nail doesn't allow it to go all the way through. All right, just like that. Now I put a cup hook over here. Right in line, straight in line with it. All right, now what I've done, I went and found me something. You can use a wooden dowel or use anything. But I went and got this is a wand off of an old Venetian blind. And I drilled a small hole in the end of it. That's where my nail goes, right there. My nail's gonna go in that hole. Okay, now I take my pair of pliers and I go ahead and close this up, close this cup hook up around that so it don't fall out. And now, oh, by the way, I did reverse my switch. So down is up and up is down because when you create this, when you put this fulcrum in the middle, this is called a fulcrum. When you put that fulcrum in the middle, that changes it. So you push this down, your light switch goes up. You push that up, your light switch goes down. So to not be confused, if you want to turn your light on, you push it up. If you want to turn your light off, you push it down, just like the light switch. So I reverse the light switch so it's not backwards. Anyway, now I'll take a saw and I'll cut this off so the door can close. Right, folks, right here now. we are. You can't see. And then to see that the light's coming on and off, but it clears the door. It's a little tight, but if, if you don't want it so tight, just move this in a little bit and it'll be a lot more easier to, to switch on and off. But, I don't hardly ever go in there at all, so, you know, big deal. That's my fix, folks. No need to call an electrician. This nail was free. I pulled it out from up here where something used to hang. All right, that was free. I had it in the junk pile outside. That cup hook was free. I already had it here. Free, folks. Everything was free. Over here, folks, I got this giant freaking big giant picture frame. Over here that I made into Rednecks Gone Wild. It's right next to this closet. <laughs> and same thing. Same thing happened here. See that one behind there? Okay, but I did something different. I drilled a hole. <laughs> I drilled a hole in that one. And I attached a little piece of wire through it. And I have a zip tie. All right, I have a zip tie that hangs down below my picture, which you can push up on the zip tie to turn your light on or pull down on the zip tie to turn your light off. Instead of coming to reach behind here every time, try to do like that. Yeah, forget that. That one's like, kind of like where I sleep at. That's my, my couch I sleep on. I don't need to get ever get in that closet anyway because the only thing in there is a hot water heater and the uh, control panel for the you know, the breaker box. But I did need to get in it today to fix the other well, closet. I had to fix that switch and turn it around. So there's my light switch for that closet. And <laughs> there's my light switch for that closet, which is gonna be hidden behind that with right here. Is switch down here. You need your light switch. Push it up, turn your light off, push it down. No big deal for me, man. That's how it works.